Hey, what's up everybody? Anthony Sevens back again for yet another product review. Um, obviously enough, we're going to be going over the Hasbro's Marvel Legends Series Electronic Iron Man Helmet. It's very, very cool. I'm super excited to showcase this thing. If you haven't seen in other videos and whatnot, um, then this is, this is definitely something cool for you to pick up. If you are a fan of Iron Man, you want some kind of decoration, or you're doing some kind of really awesome cosplay. For me, I purchased this because I want to eventually do like this half Iron Man, half Tony Stark cosplay, and that's why I wound up with the Tony Stark glasses. Now, the glasses, even though this is not a review on the glasses, I picked these up from 8 bucks. Like, I found these on eBay. They're a cheap knockoff, but they're pretty much... Um, a, a look-alike of what uh, Robert Downey Jr. wears in the film or Tony Stark wears in the film and I think these are very lovely so for like an $8 price tag you wind up waiting a couple of weeks because it's coming from China but uh, totally worth the cosplay situation All right now as far as the helmet is concerned it comes in two pieces it comes with the helmet and then it comes with this magnetically detachable faceplate. It is connected, well as you can see, is, look at the interior detail of this is lovely, but it is attached by one, two, three, four, five, six mid-grade magnets. And what I mean by mid-grade is they're not the strongest magnets in the world. So if you have it to where it sits on top of the helmet like this, you know, it's like one strong move and this thing's gonna fall off, drop on the floor, scratch, break, and you don't want to do that. I've seen people modify this mask by removing these magnets and putting much stronger magnets in there. And they also have, somebody actually invented like these little lift gates that you attach on the inside and permanently attach to the mask. So where you can lift it up and down, where you can still utilize the magnets on this faceplate, but it's going to be permanently attached to the helmet, which I think is a great feature if you're the kind of person that likes to modify things. Now, how does the electronics in this mask work? Everything is in this faceplate, pretty much. Okay, and this faceplate is very, very heavy compared to the rest of the helmet. So when you do wear it, like I had it up on top, when you do wear it up there, it does put a, a bit of weight and a little bit of pressure. And again, because it's so heavy, one strong move and it's going to fly off. But when you attach all of the magnets, when you attach the face to the helmet, you're going to hear electronic sounds and the eyes are going to light up. Let me uh, show you. Okay, so we have this thing fully functional. Very cool. Very cool, very cool stuff. So you have it's a full it's a full helmet. It does what it's supposed to do. It is brilliant. Now the eyes are lit up right now, but if you push on, on the inside down here, underneath the chin, if you push it once, the eyes dim. So push it once, the eyes dim, the eyes dim again, and then the eyes completely shut off and the mask is pretty much in off mode when the eyes are off. So very, very cool stuff. I mean, the detail on this thing, it, I've, I have seen helmets that go for several hundred dollars that look just as good as this. This is one of the best things that Hasbro has invented concerning the Marvel Legends series. Um, I mean, the, the whole interior of the helmet, let me see if I can show you. The whole interior of the helmet is highly detailed as well. Um, kind of show you on the inside. I mean, look at that, that's pretty, that's pretty detailed for, you know, you wear this around a convention, it's not like you're going to take it off and show everybody, hey, look at the detail of this helmet. But just being the wearer of it, it, it just, it makes it super cool. And now as you can see too, it does have a head rig in here. There is a plastic head rig so that um, you can adjust it to your head if you have a big head, a small head. 
Uh, you can completely take this rig out with ease if you want to add your own padding in there. Now, I'm actually considering of removing the head rig and hot gluing some padding around for a much more snug fit, which I think would probably be, be ideal. Now, if you have a bigger head, now as you can tell, I'm, I'm only 5'6", I'm a little dude, so without any kind of adjustments, my head fits right in here, and it's a pretty decent fit. But in case you're having trouble giving the, getting this thing on, you can actually pull the chin forward. So you could pull the chin forward like so, and then there's this back piece that comes loose. And this way, you know, if you have a bit bigger head, you can make it a hell of a lot easier to fit your head in there. So for those of you who have a little bit larger heads, I say fear not because you'll probably be able to fit into something like this. Now, I'm not saying that, not saying that everybody will, but there's definitely a better chance. And then getting it all back together here, trying to slide and lock everything into place. This can be a bit tedious, so just give me, give me a minute while I do this. Snap, snap, snap. Okay, okay, rigged up. And it goes there. I mean, everything, all the little tabs and stuff, they do fit together. And once you get it, la 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 la. Okay, done deal. So that's like that. The battery compartment is actually um, right here. It takes three AA batteries. There is an actual cover to it, but this was a gift from my son, and he had lost the battery cover. But because it's highly concealed in the helmet, it really doesn't matter. So, but that's pretty much all of the features on this helmet. Now, there is a, a warning, if you will, for those of you who plan on cosplaying uh, with the faceplate on. Remember, when the faceplate goes on, the eyes light up. And this is what you're seeing through, these two small slits. Now, when you are, when you are looking through the two small slits of the eyes, okay, let's say the lights are off. That's very, very little vision that you have to begin with. Now imagine looking through tiny little holes and they're all lit up. It is a very difficult piece to walk around a convention in, especially for lengthy periods of time. You have no peripheral vision. Your vision is only through two tiny little holes in the lens. That's why when I cosplay with this thing, faceplate is going to be up in the air just as you see it. And that's exactly why I bought those Tony Stark glasses that you saw at the beginning of the video. So this way it could be like a half Tony Stark, half Iron Man. Even if you do have the full body suit though, you can still walk around with this, shave your facial hair, grab the sunglasses, and you're good to go. But as far as being a collectible electronic toy designed by Marvel, I am just, I'm blown away and impressed by it. I mean, I have many other things uh, that Hasbro has come out with. I have um, the Thor hammer, and I also have some Black Series stuff from Hasbro's Star Wars collection, and they're all very, very good things. But as far as one of the best items, this thing right here. Now, you may be asking, how much is this going to cost me, Tony, because it looks expensive. Well, as with all Hasbro, Marvel Legends, or Black Series items, these start off at a retail price of $100, so like $99.95, right? Which is not bad. But the bad thing is, is that Hasbro does not make these anymore. Unless you accidentally run across them, say, in a comic book store or at a convention or something, and someone is selling them at retail price for $100, then consider yourself extremely extremely lucky but once these things are sold out you know a year or two after they're sold out and you can't find them at retail stores anymore you know you're kind of forced to go buy them on eBay or Amazon and unfortunately with this particular helmet because it's so popular because it's so high in demand I have seen these Iron Man helmets go from anywhere between, you know, $150 to two, three, I think one guy was selling them for like 350 or close to 400 bucks for one of these. Now, is it worth it? 
Well, be it that this is one of my absolute favorite uh, like helmets that Hasbro has designed in the recent decade, um, retail price starting at 100 bucks, I probably would pay 150, maybe 175 for something like this. 200's kind of pushing it, but because of its rarity and it's hard hard to get your hands on with ease, maybe I would pay 200. Maybe if I was doing like a full Iron Man cosplay and it's something that I desperately wanted to get, then maybe I would pay 200 bucks for this because it is it really is worth the money. As as you can see, it's just it is an incredible toy. I mean, for Christ's sakes, I guess this is a toy and for being a toy, this is this is one of those like holy shit type of toys. Um, but yeah, I would probably pay about 175 max for one of these if you can find it. So just do your research online. Uh, again, I would probably go to Amazon or eBay or you know if you have the patience to wait until you get to a convention or something, maybe, maybe you'll find it at retail price or maybe someone's just trying to get rid of something that they don't know what they have or they don't care what it's worth and they're just like, here, I don't want this anymore. But um, that's it, the Marvel Legends series Iron Man electronic helmet, awesome stuff. Um, uh, questions uh, uh, as far as is this a voice changer by any means, no it is not. It is not a voice changer, it has no speakers for any kind of voice anything. So you probably could use a little head rig under it with a little pack and like a little microphone pack like a PA system and you could probably do some kind of electronic voice for that if you want to modify your your Stark costume. So uh, as far as the electronics are concerned it is basically for the mechanics on and off and for the lights blah 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 blah. That's all I've got for you today. This is Anthony Seven signing off until we meet again. Take care of yourself and take care of each other.